year I made these little reindeers and they were a smash hit. You wouldn't believe the number of people who wrote into us about them. Check out some of the photos you guys sent me. So we thought we'd give you an encore just in case you missed it last time. And all you need to make one of these beauties is some sticks and logs. Now run free for a minute while I make you a friend. Starting with a log and using a handsaw, cut yourself a body for your reindeer. Now the only power tool you're going to need is a drill. Then just drill four holes for the leg. I've drilled my hole and my stick's too big. So if I just get a little sharp blade... Oh, snug as a bug. Now repeat that for the other three legs. Add sticks for the neck and tail and then a small log for the head and some fork sticks for the antlers. It's cute, isn't it? It took me all of about three minutes. Come on, mate. Be free. Doris, this is Daryl, Daryl, Doris. Now, since we're on to such a winner, why not make a mini version? The humble old cork. Now, it's that simple to make. You can use a little chicken skewer and drill your holes by hand, or you can put a fine tip drill bit in and still use a drill. And then your legs are just tiny little twigs. The head, I simply cut a cork in half, make a hole for the neck and the two antlers. Now you can leave it a la natural, or you can dress it up a little bit and make it look like Rudolph with a red bead and a pin with a red knob on it, straight through the cork. Perfect for the table, but you can also hang them on your Christmas tree with a little bit of string. Rudolph the red nose reindeer. The little ones would be perfect for Tara. She can use them on the table, maybe put name tags on them. And the big boys, well, they can guard the front door, protect the prezzies, or just relax in the garden. But if you want a little bit more of an Australiana feel, you're going to love what I'm going to do later on. An echidna. <laughs> <laughs>